A veterinarian at the Denver Zoo has put a king cobra with skin cancer in remission. Thanks to the zoo's unique treatment plan, there's no longer any sign of cancer in that huge snake. Health specialist Kathy Walsh live at the Denver Zoo tonight with a story that is new at 6. And Kathy, the zoo pioneered this cobra cancer treatment. That's right, it is a first, and while it's not easy treating a king cobra with cancer, it turned out to be a rewarding challenge for the folks here at the Denver Zoo. This king cobra is slithering along just fine these days. Amazing visitors at the Denver Zoo. That's because determined zookeepers were able to successfully treat his cancer lymphosarcoma, which is a type of cancer that affects the scales. Concern started about a year ago when a keeper noticed purplish scales. Associate veterinarian Betsy Stringer wanted a closer look. His size and being venomous definitely makes this a really challenging patient. Zoo staff kept the snake asleep with his head in a tube hooked to an anesthesia machine. It took nine x-rays to evaluate his 13 foot long body. A biopsy confirmed the cancer. But what next? There's no publication that tells me how to treat lymphosarcoma in a king cobra, so this was uncharted territory. Stringer worked with a veterinary oncologist at Colorado State University and came up with a treatment plan. So the chemotherapy drug that we used is used in domestic cats and people. It's a little trickier treating a cobra. In this case, a pill was put in the throat of a dead rat. The cobra was fed one every three weeks for five months. A biopsy in December showed the cancer did not come back and he's officially in remission. This is one lucky reptile with the Denver Zoo able to tip the scales in his favor. The zoo hopes to publish its findings to help other sick snakes. At the Denver Zoo, I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First.